Hi, this is Marlo with MarloGetsFit.com and today is day number 264, my low carb, high fat lifestyle change. And it has been, I think it's been over a week since my last update. I um, did my last update on the Friday after Thanksgiving and I had reported then that I had a great Thanksgiving with family and I did go off um, low carb a little bit. I did have mashed potatoes and some of my uh, good desserts and stuff like that. But then I was right back on low carb the next day and been doing pretty good. I did weigh in on that Monday and I noticed that I had, you know, my scale was up about two pounds or something like that, um, which I'm not too concerned with because it goes up and down, you know, it could be water weight, could be anything. I don't think it necessarily was that I went off low carb, you know, two, car two pounds is um, a big swing, you know, not a big swing, but I don't think it was really that. Um, but anyway, no concerns. So I've been doing low carb, um, been keeping up, but one thing I did notice, I don't know if it had anything to do with carbs or just totally unrelated, but I did get like a big cold sore and so I, I was kind of reluctant to do my videos and it took quite a while, you know, uh, several days to get over with that. And then I just got too busy and it's so funny how once you miss a day or you miss a couple days and then every day you miss the harder it is to get back into it. it's like oh, what am I going to tell everybody because I miss those days um, so it's kind of one of those self-perpetuating things so I just decided I'm just going to get on here and do an update and hopefully um, keep to it this time um, so anyway I've been doing really good low carb um, sticking to it low carb on a budget and then yesterday my daughter we went on a, shop, a little shopping day um, get some Christmas shopping out of the way braved the mall oh my gosh that was crazy anyway so I kind of decided since she was wanting to uh, eat some treats I did kind of go off a little bit yesterday um, I had you know a slice of pizza had um, what did I have I had a couple other things that were not so look oh she bought me a couple pieces a little pack of almond roca which is my favorite one of my favorite candies and I actually had that so um, I'm back on today, but I, you know, I don't feel so bad because once in a while having some treats is, you know, not that bad, especially since I don't go full steam, like eat everything, you know, just like have sodas and, you know, just tons and tons of sweets and tons and tons of carbs. I try to just have an item or an item or two um, and not just go full out all day long, just binge on a bunch of carbs because then that would be really bad so um, I just I have a hard time eating too many carbs because I feel like it just feels icky eating too many carbs so anyway today I am back to low carbing um, and I plan I don't plan on going off again until you know I probably will again on Christmas when we get back to family have you know some mashed potatoes and have some of the cakes because I'm going to try my poppy seed cake again. Hopefully, I, I think I know what I did wrong on the drizzle. I think I'm going to get it right this time. So hopefully, I got to try that. I cannot not eat poppy seed cake. It is so good. Um, let's see. So other than that, I have been trying to do some more exercise during the day. Just, um, you know, as I get up, do arm exercises, leg exercises, twisting, turning, those sort of things. Um, make me you know, get my blood moving a little bit. As you can hear, I don't know if that you can hear that, it's raining. It's starting to rain really hard. We're supposed to get some cooler weather come in and maybe we might even get a little bit of snow, I think on Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday night, which would be kind of cool. We're really missing the snow, so I would love to see a little bit of snow here, but I'm not sure if it'll cooperate. Hopefully, um, I'll get some pictures of that if we see some snow. Anyway, um, Let's see. Oh, we did go to Costco yesterday too. We haven't been for quite a while because we um, had to renew our membership. And I was able to get find a few things. I was looking to see what they had low carb. Um, one thing I got in the vegetables is they you can get a four pound bag of broccoli flowerettes, you know, already chopped up, which is really convenient. And it was only like four dollars, so it was a really good deal there. Um, then it makes it quick and easy to just you know grab some and steam that up so that's a pretty good deal um, other than that I didn't really find a whole lot of interesting items you know the normal butter meats lots of good meats and stuff like that but trying to stay on a budget you uh, can really go over your budget at Costco really quick 
Um, but it's good to get some staples there. Um, let's see. I don't have a whole lot else to say. Um, I am still feeling really good um, as far as my clothes being loose. I mean, it just, I feel really good going into the holiday season knowing that I'm down, knowing that I'm at a lowest weight that I've been in a really, really long time. Um, instead of normally, you know, during the holidays, especially it seems like it's like you're feeling bloated, you're feeling icky, you know, you've gained weight and you just, oh, I'll start on the first, on January, I'll start doing good then, I'll start to lose weight. And this year is totally different because I've been losing weight. I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost inches. I'm feeling really, really good. And I just, I can't be thankful enough. I just feel, it's just a totally different feeling um, when you're going into the end of the year that way. I'm really, really excited for the next year and, and what next year is going to bring, especially for summertime. I've been thinking about, you know, how much weight can I get down and how, what sizes can I get down by summertime and hopefully, you know, buy some new new clothes for summer. That'll be totally awesome. Um, kind of really excited about that. I'm hoping to get my daughter started again. She's been off and she's gained some weight back. So she said she wanted to start. I think she wants to start at the beginning of the year. I'm trying to talk her into starting sooner than that since my whole philosophy is why wait? You know, why wait till the first of the year or some stupid date? You know, why not just start now? You know, it's, it's no big deal if you, you know, just stick to it and then say you have a day like Christmas that you want to go, you know, splurge a little bit. Go for it, you know. In the meantime, you've done good all that time. You know, you're going to be better off starting now than, than starting on the first. Think of how much of a head start you'll have. So I encourage you to do that if you're thinking about it. If you want to start, you know, on the first, why not start now? Why not get a head start and start feeling good, you know. I feel much better during the holidays knowing that I've been doing good all this time. So anyway, if you uh, have any questions or any comments or, you know, if you're looking for some advice on how to get started or, you know, anything like that, I would love to talk to you. Send me a message, you know, like my YouTube channel and Facebook page and shoot me over a message and I would love to hear about any success you're having, any questions, comments, recipes, definitely like recipes, um, shortcuts, any stuff like that and any specials that you find special deals anywhere. I've been, um, you know, stocking up on the turkeys. I love this time of year because turkeys are 69 cents a pound, 49 cents a pound. So I've been stocking up on turkeys. I know Walmart still has 69 cents a pound turkeys. So that's a really good deal. And uh, I keep looking. I'd like to get a few hams in there too because I like to alternate ham and turkey. So uh, let me know what you find and I will see you on my next update.